In this mod review, we're taking a look at the Roman Diesel for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Junior Senior! G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming, and today we're having a look at the Roman Diesel for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Now, it's been about a year since we've last had a look at this truck, so I'm going to see what has actually changed. So this can be purchased from the Man Truck Dealer, M-A-N Truck Dealer in Dortmund. Well, you don't have to go to Dortmund, it's just the Man, the M-A-N Truck Dealer is where this is from. So let's check it out in customized configuration. So first of all, we have one cabin, one chassis, one engine, one transmission, one interior, which is, there we go there, that's your interior, looking around. Actually, you know what, I don't mind the seats. The seats are like very old school, sort of 70s type seats. So I think that's actually quite cool. Um, and, you know, the, I mean, the rest of it looks good. There you go, there's, so that's the interior. And then we go off to the paint jobs. Now there is a heap of paint jobs to choose from. They've even got this dirty. Now this was in there last time we had a look at this as well. Uh, makes it look like a real old school truck. But this time, unfortunately, it's got a few glitches. So you can see that they've gone and rather than made a skin for it. All right, what they've done is they've made just a whole brand new panel for it over the top that goes over the top of it. Which is... Yeah, something not quite right there. But anyway, I don't know why they would have done that. Actually, look at that. What is that? There's something way over the top of it completely. Somebody's tried to do something. That's weird. Wow, okay. It's fine that side. Well, you, sort of. You can see that big chunk there, so... Ugh. Okay, I didn't see that before, but anyway. Um, going through the colours, we've got oranges, greens, blues, uh, orange, blues, silver. There's silver and, and black knight. Custom colour. You can choose a custom colour there. There we go. And then you've got red, uh, you've got yellows, you've got yellow chicken. It looks like orange to me, but anyway. Um, then we have a look at the metallics. And there we go, there's uh, one color, there's two, and there is three. There we go, so the metallics work perfectly fine. Um, I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for, let's go for a red cross. There we go. All right, now over to the accessories. Now, this is something by this time, it's been, it's changed hands quite a few times. And it's been a year since we last had a look at this. So you'd think that a lot more things would have been in here. But unfortunately it hasn't. So, uh, but let's have a look uh, and see what else we've got. We've got the Galaxy S4, which is inside. So this is all accessories for inside, which we'll have a look at those later. Then over here we have the flags. So you can add in the flags if you want. So there's the Albanian flag there. We'll put on the Australian flag. How about that? There we go. And just there is the mirrors. Only one mirror, plastic. Driver's plate. GPS, which is a mirror on the side mirror there. Then we have the, it's a table. You can't really see, oh you can see it here, but there's wood and plastic. Then there's a co-driver's plate. There is this, the flag on the side there. There we go, flag of Australia. We're Australian, mate. Uh, then we have the main mirrors there. Now, underneath the wheels, it's good. It does actually have its own tires. So you've got Mercedes NG wheels in there. Tires in there. Uh, you can choose any of the other ones, but just make sure you choose the appropriate rim. Now, underneath the rims, there is two. There's the standard, and then there is the elegance. So let's chuck on the elegance. Um, again, make sure you choose the appropriate nuts so it looks, you know, all the appropriate bits and pieces here so it looks proper. 
And then we have the cover there. Where is it? Down the bottom, elegance. And up the back here, we've got the... So you've got all the other tires you can choose, the standard ones, plus you've got its own tire, which is really good. Now off to the rims. I'm going to go elegance rim with elegance nuts and the elegance hub. And the center, I do believe that there is no actual elegance or, or standard center. So there we go. You just have to stick with that. Now, unfortunately, that is pretty much all that we have to select for bits and pieces, which is a bit of a shame because, as I said, uh, it's been a year, more, more than a year, and it's still really not, you know, updated. I'm very concerned about that, that uh, bit of modeling error there. That's sort of a bit, bit rough. Never mind. Let's have a look at the accessories on the inside. Um, that flag is going to annoy the you know what out of me. I'm going to leave it there for now. Hopefully that will go where to where it needs to go. I seriously doubt it though. And it's going to annoy the crap out of us the whole time. Um, no accessory. Oh, here we go. There, we can choose the flag, the mir main mirrors or side mirrors. So, there we go. That's all you can choose on the inside. Well, let's confirm this. And let's do a trade-in on the last mod. There we go. And let's check it outside. Have a look. See how long it takes to load. There's the world loading. So we just have to wait for that. Big clumps of land. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Right. Unfortunately, that model is looking a bit dodgy there. A uh, bit of a hole under the guard. You can see through the roof there. That's weird. Yeah, and all these things that I point out, guys, that I can see that are wrong, it's now up to the modder to fix that. So hopefully they will see this and they'll go, oh, right, okay, I didn't notice that. I'll get right in there and fix that. It's not to, you know, say that they're crap or anything like that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that this is problems that I can see and that it should be fixed. So, there we go. Um, what's that? Oh, that looks like something in the engine bay. Uh, it's just that big bit of modeling up the top there that looks weird. And the roof, there's a big hole in the roof there. I'm going to get wet when I'm driving. Not really too happy about that. Uh, what else we got? I think that is pretty much it that I can see. Oh, there's a hole straight through. You can see straight through where the engine bay is. There's a big hole there. Same going through there. There's like the engine vanishes. Oh, well, look, there's a few things that need to be worked on. But, you know, as I said, it's, you know, mod, mods... Mods aren't all perfect, so they all need a little bit of work and, you know, just a bit of time. So there we go. That can easily be fixed. Uh, I just started the engine and I can't hear anything, so... Let me try that again. Alright, okay. There we go. Let me uh, fix that volume. Oh yeah, my steering wheel is working. It's still switched on automatic. I'll have to change that another time fix that up. Alright, so there's its own engine. Now let's uh, turn on the lights. Hang on a second. <sighs> None of the lights are working. Alright, shift off to push down. Uh, handbrake. Engine brake. See, the joystick's configured there for that. I'll have to redo that. Parking brake, throttle, engine brake, trailer. Light modes, light modes. Hang on. There we go. Light modes. There 
It's Joy 4. That's why it's not working. It's Joy 4 now. Interesting. High beam. That's why. Okay. Alright, well, let's just jump out. I can, I can fix the rest up later. There's the lights. High beam. We got high beam. No high beam. Doesn't look like high beams there. Okay. Uh, horn. No air horn. Just the, that horn there. Um, what else have we got? Flashes. Where's the flashes? No, you don't want that. Uh, okay. It really is insisting on me doing this, isn't it? I'm not going to. Not right now. Uh, air horn, wipers, cruise control, dashboard. Cameras, other. Uh, activate, no. Trailer menu, quick save, no. No, no. Must be further up. I must have missed it. Throttle steering, the shift up, park a brake, engine brake. I hate when I've gone and, you know, not done this. I'll have to do this. Warning light modes, high beams, beacons, horns, air horns, wipers, wipers, which is wipers. Right, cruise control, I can do that later. Dashboard display mode. Dashboard display, there we go. See, I hate it when that happens. All right, uh, what was it? Wipers. Wipers are not working. All right, so it's a few things here now. The display. Let's push the display. Oh, ho, 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 it crashed. Oh, great. Okay, so there we go. So that is that needs to be fixed up because that crashed while I pushed display. That's a common thing that we see. We do in the past. We've seen such a lot of that where mods they fail because they you push the display and they just crash. So, bit of a bummer, but anyway, that's the way it is, and that's the whole idea of these mod reviews, is to jump in and to show you guys exactly what you're gonna get, and what you ex what what to expect when you actually download this mod. So, that way you'll know not to uh, push the display button. Continue. Alright, there we go. So, uh, truck dealers. Let's go truck dealers. MAN truck dealer. Dortmund. Is it? Yeah, Dortmund. Uh, visit truck dealer. Thank you. And there it is right there. Let's do a trade in on that there thank you and we'll just leave it as is and now we'll take it for a drive oh 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 okay what's going on there camera's gone all funny for some reason let's move the seat forward there we go Yeah, okay, that's fine. Right, let's let's start her up and take it for a drive. And away we go. Well, look, it seems to be driving okay. There's just those few issues that really need to be uh, fixed up, like that the actual modeling it never used to be like that so that's weird it's a green there we're in third and we're still moving interesting it just took its time um, so yeah it, it's it's got a few little issues that can be fixed up so hopefully they will get fixed and in the future we'll see a better product which will be really good but um 
for now we just have to deal with it the way it is so guys look if you like this mod and you'd like to see this in the weekly drive then punch that like button in the ass and the mod with the most votes will actually be the winner so uh, make sure you get in there and vote guys because that really is very important that you actually vote because uh, if you don't vote then unfortunately they'll get a truck in that possibly you don't like well guys that is pretty much it for me today look if you uh if you would like to see more videos from euro trucks and american trucks then head on over to the junior senior gaming channel on youtube and check it out and while you're there why don't you hit that subscribe button but until next time don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down and, the, and i'm 1010 on the side and remember game on <laughs>